And welcome to Bermuda Sports Network. It's the opening Lindos ISL season. We'd like to say welcome back to Bermuda once again. The ever-present, ever-popular, knowledgeable Paul Middlemeyer. Uh, Paul, it's a new season, the fifth season for the ISL. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been, uh, it seems like I'm such a long time now. And, you know, last year, of course, the Storm coming back and winning. Uh, repeating as champions in 2010. We'll see if they can uh, defend that crown a little bit later on tonight. But uh, here we've got the uh, Arsenal and the Royal. This should be a good matchup. And, and Mike, this is the third game of four today. Uh, earlier on, the Titans beat the, the Apex 7-4 to four in the first game today. And a real great game between the Union and the Kings as uh, they got it done. Uh, the Union did 6-5 six to, six to five over the Kings with a late goal in that one to win the game. Sure. So we have four matches right now, as Paul mentioned, Royal and Arsenal, and I like the way this Arsenal team looked. They don't seem to have made too many changes from last season. Yeah, Arsenal did a good job in the draft, getting all their players back from last year and, uh, and, and protecting the right guys. They were the runners up to the storm last year. Great game. Our first shootout ever last year. <laughs> That's the right. Game. And uh, <laughs> Arsenal came up just a bit short, but uh, they bring a lot of guys back and, uh, you know, should be a tough, tough, tough team this year. And the one big addition, Mike, to their squad, and you'll see him here today on the field, number 12, Logan, Logan yeah. Alexander, who uh, really helps them out on the back line. There he is. You just mentioned it. There he is, Logan Alexander. What I'm a little bit disappointed about, though, uh, Bo, is that the Storm have lost the Bermuda Triangle to the to the Hogs. Now, <laughs> yeah. how does that sound? Well, the Storm you, have lost the it to yeah. the Hogs. Uh, I, I tell you, that's a... Uh, that, that's headline material right there. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's uh, Tomiko Coddington and uh, Kwame Steed with uh, the Hogs and not here in the ISL this year. And Chris Casey. And Chris Casey. That's gonna be, that is going to be a big challenge for Andrew Bascom and uh, see what he can you know, pull out. They did pick up the scientist, Mark Steed, yes. on their roster, so he'll be in the, in the lineup for them tonight. Uh, but, uh, you know, Andrew's a good coach, and uh, we'll see what he can do and uh, how he can compensate for the loss of some pretty talented offense we see our first yes. goal here. Yes, oh yes. It's nice job that time. Jesse, is it? Number uh, 11. Jesse Seymour scores for the Royal, and uh, they're on the board against the Arsenal. You know, that was nothing too complicated there, Mike. It was just a nice drive down the left side, and I think that caught uh, Jason Smith off guard a little bit that time. It's not a goal you'll see him give up too often. Hendrickson hustling now. Keep it in play. Knocks it against uh, his former teammate, Ralph Bean Jr. And it'll be goalkeeper distribution for Zane Hendrickson. You know, let me talk about that, Mike. What a great goalkeeper matchup here in this one as uh, Hendrickson goes up against Jason Smith. And you know what? You look at some of the keepers in this league now. Uh, you know, the Apex lost earlier today, but uh, Daniel Johnson now in the in the goal for them. He's He was outstanding today for the Apex in, in their game against the Titans. And we will see the other of the duo from last year, Mike, as uh, the Knights picked up Nigel Burgess in the draft. So Nigel will be in goal for them tonight when they take on the Storm. Oh yeah, that's quality there. Definitely a quality keeper. 
helping uh, Hamilton Parish to uh, the sh Shield, I believe it was, last season. Short corner, Secoy going inside looking for Burrows, unable to get to it. That's Secoy Robinson, the second leading scorer in last year's playoffs for the Arsenal. Watch his growth this year as a player. It's good to see Jamiko Jennings in the mix, uh, on and off during the outdoor season, but I think the shorter game would suit him a, a little bit more. Yeah, Jamiko with the Royal with the Royal a couple years ago didn't play last year, but is back again this season. And we saw Mike in that season that he did play the short sided game a couple years ago. He was dominant. We'll see if he can return to that kind of form here this season. Sure. We're in the first quarter, and it's Royal Arsenal on this opening day of the Lindos 2011 ISL season. And, of course, you're watching all the action on Bermuda Sports Network with commentators Paul Mittermeier and yours truly, Mike Sharp. We like to always say hello to the sick and shut-in. And with the Royal leading one goal to nil, we have just over nine minutes to go in the opening quarter. This is a corner kick to be taken quickly by Jennings. Oh, off the head there. Still, it's still Royal. We're gonna have to watch Tory Davis out there. He has a lethal foot also. Jennings made a nice play to save it off the end line and give the Royal that second opportunity. Right now, the Royal pretty much taking it to Arsenal. Arsenal stacked, talented roster, but right now, Royal's getting the best of the play. Yeah, it looks like they're slow out of the blocks here. Oh, here's a chance here. Oh, Jennings, unselfishly. Is it 2-0? I think we're going to end up giving that goal to Darren Dowling. Not sure whether it crossed the line by Dowling by the time Dowling had hit it. That will be coming in. Is that the seventh? Seventh minute? Wow. Darren Dowling. I didn't anticipate this. This is somewhat of a shot. Oh, look at this. Uh, again, Dowling with the blistering shot from midfield that just goes wide. Quickly thrown out by Jason Smith. Over here to Taz Simons. Back to Smith. Oh, going long there. And Mike, for those that uh, are looking at this game for the first time, you, you can't leave your TV. You can't leave your computer because it uh, happens fast and you blink your eyes and you miss a goal. Castle now. Oh, gives one off there to 16, Jason Davis. And it looks like he's not afraid to pull the trigger. <laughs> All indications are we're gonna have a cracker of a season because on paper, Arsenal, early prediction to possibly duplicate at least make it to the playoffs and the final, but they're trailing here in the opening quarter 2-0 against the Royal. Royal kick in far side. Over there is Darren Dowling with his lovely yellow and black boots. That one out of play, and again on the short-sided game, the ball goes out of play. It's a kick in on the sideline. Anything that goes out off of the defensive team past the end line is a corner, and of course uh, the goalkeeper distribution for any ball that goes out of uh, over the uh, end line. And a quick goal line. And a quick reminder: of how many yellow cards before the blue and the penalty? Three, Three yellow, yellow cards. cards. Or you know, like we saw this in the earlier game, um, a, a pushing foul, a yellow shown. And uh, because it was a dangerous play, because it was uh, uncalled for, they gave the blue as well, and that led to a shootout for the Kings. One yellow. One yeah. Well, that just uh, the determination was it was a it was a you know a dangerous play or a, a flagrant play, so they awarded the blue as well. Flagrant foul. And that is at the discretion of the the officials. Uh huh. But yeah. yeah, three yellow cards does equal a blue as well. Yeah. We talk about the game, you know, yellow card. Obviously, for misconduct, for hard foul, for uh, uh, a play where maybe there was a scoring opportunity, there was a foul on, and then also you know, for minor violations as well. Shirts must be tucked in, uniforms must be in check, yeah. or you can receive a yellow for that as well. Yeah. 
Well, that's Ralph Bean Jr. here. Going long. Looking for, I believe, down there, number 11, Jesse. C oh, this is a check. Oh, 2-1. Oh, 2-1. Oh, no. Shakai Pearman. Well, I'll tell you. Is that the 10th minute? Yes, sir. Shakai Pearman. And I'll tell you what. Nice job by Shakai. Two on none. And Shakai just used Fabian Frankson as a, as a kind of a decoy. And Zane Hendrickson had, what was he going to do? You know, he was, he was trying to guess right. And, uh. He noticed uh, him favor favoring Frankson, and he was able just to slip it inside the uh, near post. He was real cool and calm about that, Paul. And we have seen Shakai, of course, play with the Union, adept at being able to finish. And we saw that there. And just another addition for the Arsenal. And you talked about it. You, you, you think that they're in a situation where they could win this whole thing this year, and that's why, because they've added some, some talented players to an already talented roster from last year. Just over four minutes, and it's Royal 2, Arsenal 1, and here come the Blue Arsenal machine once again. You talked about the Bermuda Triangle for the Storm. How about for the Arsenal last year, the, uh, the trio of Ralph Bean, Fabian Frankson, and Sequoia Six, Robinson. Sequoia, yeah. They were tremendous for John Barry Newsom and the Arsenal. Frankson looking for Bean. Seymour strips him. Good defensive play there by the Royal, and they did a good job of marking their men and not getting away from their defensive responsibilities and were able to break up that chance for Arsenal. Yeah. It's interesting that they have Michael Williams, who's uh, better known for attacking, actually playing in the center back position down there. Yeah, well, Michael was an all-star in the league last year as a defender. Really came on strong and gives them, as you said, Mike, it gives them that ability, especially the short-sided game, to be able to play, be physical on the defensive end, but also to get come, forward. come forward yeah. and make some plays. Oh, look at this. Watch, as Hendrickson has to watch the bounce. And just as we talked about, here he comes. Great feed. Oh, that's Iris with the shot down there. Rico Iris hustling now. Logan Alexander loses it out of play. Oh, look at Williams. Very ambitious with that one. Well off target. No problem to goalkeeper Smith. Look at the clock. We're just over two minutes remaining. And it's Royal 2, Arsenal 1. The opening quarter. It's the ISL on BSN. Tori Davis gives it off to Williams. Over here looking for Seymour who dabs it back for Williams. He's over the half line. Being shut down by Robinson. Good two-way play there by Sequoia Robinson. Getting back and playing defense. And uh, that's uh, a key in this game. Oh, great two, ball. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> oh, what a great distribution pass from Jason Smith. Another aspect of the short-sided game. Ralph Bean Jr. equalizes for the Arsenal. And it's 2-2 with just over a minute to go in the opening quarter. As I mentioned, I thought they were slow out of the blocks, but they're starting to click now. Davis trying to find Jennings, but it's all the way through to Smith. Throws it out to Robinson. Oh, loses possession. Iris is uh, threatening up there. They better watch him. He's light on his feet. And Jason Smith makes a smart play there just to, to blast it out of play. Jennings chipping across field. Iris turns it inside, but loses possession. Frankson borrows. Now with the touch line over here to Davis down the line to Robinson. He's being cornered. Jennings comes up with it. Good double team that time. 
by the Royal as they uh, clamp down on Sequoia Robinson and Sequoia couldn't quite split that double team and turn the ball over, but Arsenal and we're what's the counter. Yeah, and we're inside the final 30 seconds here, Paul. And it's all level 2-2. Two, two. Good play. No, oh, what a great read by Jason Smith to come all the way out, out of the box to slide tackle that ball away. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. So entertaining first quarter, Mike, as uh, both teams get on the board a couple of times. And uh, after one, we got an entertaining game going on. Sure, sure. Jesse Seymour in the fourth unofficially. Darren Dowling gave uh, the Royal a 2-0 lead. Three minutes later, three minutes later, Shakai Pierman put Arsenal on the score sheet. And then Ralph Bean Jr. equalized for the Blue Machine in the 13th minute. So at the end of the first quarter, it's 2-2. And you're watching the fifth season of the Island Soccer League on Bermuda Sports Network. 